Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet with me, Crater, where today we're in Area Zero, the great crater of Paldia, as you can see. We are slightly further down than where we left off. We were up on the top somewhere over there and we've basically followed the path around. It's quite linear, actually. You can't really go off in any direction, but here we are with the crew and we're just about to have a look at the first of the labs. I think this is it. Let's... Oh yeah, here we go. That, that's what we're looking for. It is indeed. Apparently there are four of these with switches in, so we're going to try and find all four of them, and that should get us to the lab thing in the middle. So I think that's the idea. Radish rations? Is that? <laughs> research station. Okay, so I got it wrong. It's not a lab, it's a research station, which will get us into the lab. Thanks, Penny. Came to our rescue there. So, oh, Shreen, what is this? A Pokemon. Hello. Let's take it on together. Okay. Straight in then. A nice battle. It's going to be us and Nimona, I think. There's Miascarada and Lycanroc. Okay. What have you got then? Glimora. Interestingly, I don't think we can catch it by the looks of things. Um, let's just go straight in with a flower trick. That was a good hit. I'll take that for sure. Did drop some toxic debris. Shouldn't be a problem for us. As Lycanroc uses Drill Run and super effective. See you later. Double critical hits for us today. And Glamora should be no more -a. Oof, that was bad. But there, there we go. First one. Thanks for your help on that one, Nimona. There must be a lot more of these rare Pokemon. You are right. I mean, that one didn't put up much of a fight at all, so let's head on in. If all the Pokemon around here are like that, we should be absolutely fine. Also, notice, I think my hair colour has changed. Is that an... This weird area thing could be there we go that was my hair color just as we went inside you see it change that's what I was expecting maybe it was just a weird glitch yeah far too recent for being ancient we have reached the first research center yeah so what do we do now we can use this to rest up if we need to. Um, I think we're fine. But we'll disable the lock. Sure. It's also a nice... There's a book here. Ah, something about crystals. Let's do the lock. Uh, yes, we would like to do that. Lock disabled. Three or four still active. Cool. Let's crack on then and find the next one. Just as I was about to leave, I noticed this thing in the corner. Where would you like to go? To the gate. Oh, okay, it's like a teleporter thing. Never mind. Is this a door? Nope. Okay, on to the next one. Ah, oh, just like that. There's one right around the corner from where we just were. So let's get inside there. I do worry that I might... So you can see just about where we were. Way up there like, a minute ago. Oh, hey. <laughs> a minute ago we were way up there, so... Hopefully we haven't missed one on the way down. I'm just going to run away from you. Um, yeah, there were two sort of options. One took us to sort of where my head is right there. I don't think I saw anything, but we might have to go back. Ooh, lighting glitch again. Who have we got to battle this time? Not sure you can hear in the background, but... Mochi the cat is desperate for me to go downstairs and play some, uh, play some games with her. So she's screaming at me from down the hall. Uh, she, I think she just wants me to play with some of her toys. She likes like balls of foil. Hey, look, a weird jiggly look, jiggly puff looking thing, but not quite. Look, Mochi, I will play with you in a minute, okay? We've got a battle of Jigglypuff thing. Oh, she's coming in the room. 
<laughs> uh, it looks like Mochi's gonna join us for this battle, along with Penny, maybe. Yes, so it's me, Penny, Mochi versus Jigglypuff. Come on then. All right, now Skarada and an Umbreon. Let's, oh, Screamtail, that sounds cool. Um, I don't really know what to use. I'm gonna try Flower Trick just because it usually does a pretty decent job. And that did take down half of its HP. Although it is gonna rest, which I'm fine with. It can be asleep. I would love to be able to catch this. Um, but I'm guessing it's not really an option, no. Which is fine. Let's just take you down. Another flower trick. Half HP. Umbreon, have you got anything that you can do? Come on, Penny. Dark Pulse, nice, thank you. I mean, it wasn't as good as flower trick, but I'll take it. I'm gonna try Night Slash. It's asleep, so it can't really do much damage to us. <laughs> and it's gone. And so is Mochi. I guess she gave up. She realised I wasn't going to come and play. We've got far more important things to do. That was cool, though. A ferocious Jigglypuff. Would have been nice to catch, but never mind. We can't quite catch everything, I guess. Let's go and hit the switch. Go! Research station number two. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. So, push the button. Maybe the Pokemon was one of these. What have you got there? Oh, the monsters. Oh, I like the Great Tusk thing that we saw before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They aren't actually Pokemon, or maybe. What do I think? I think they are just regular Pokemon. Is that what I said? Time has come for an explanation. Yes, thank you. Some of the life forms are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past. Okay. So the Zero Lab contains a time machine. What? summons ancient Pokemon to the place. Cool. Theoretically, it's possible to travel to the past, but you can come back. Well, that is horrifying, you're right. Why are we here? Good question. Okay. Let's disable another lock on the lab, for sure. Uh, yes, we will press button. Two to go. What's what? What's up, Arvin? That book, I think it's got something to do with everything to do with this place. Okay, cool. Thanks for the book. The Scarlet Book. Take care of it, I will, no worries. All right, quick rest up. I think we can use this bed. Sure, not that we need any HP, but you know. Yeah, feeling full of energy. Let's go on to research station number three. Coming up on our third research station now, we were just up on top of that ridge there. We've come down, crossed a little river, and now we are about to take on the third one. So what have we got? Ah, oh, I guess nothing. Something's gonna jump at us. Yeah, well, I thought that, but maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's the great tusk thing. It's 
just like that Titan. Yeah, come on, Arvin. We have, yes. It went quite well. Let's do this. Right then, Tusky boy. What do you got for us? A boss is intimidating it. Oh, we are super effective. And we love a flower trick around here, so let's just go for it. See you later, Great Tusk. Blimey. It's going to use a Brick Break, which actually was pretty decent. Uh, it's the first bit of damage we've done, but my boss is going to take it out. Uh, easy peasy. See you later, Great Tusk. That's all three of those have been pretty straightforward. Nice. Just the way I like it. Victory is ours. Yeah, I mean, we've... <clears throat> That's true, if there are ancient Pokemon just all wandering around, it's probably not ideal. But, yeah, we've taken on loads of cool Titans like that. Nimona, you missed out on all the adventures. Which is weird. Because it felt like you were stalking me most of the time. Oh well, let's go and uh, push some buttons. Once again, exactly the same layout. Penny's still freaking out. Thinking too hard. Oh, you know what? Koraiden could be from the past. You heard Koraiden's born, you told us it about its forms. Okay, tell us what you know. It is found by your mum when she was working on a time machine. Oh yeah, of course you can talk to us. You entrusted it to me. It was the first Pokemon that was retrieved from the past. Cool. An ancient form of Cyclizar. That makes sense. They do look pretty similar exactly. There's another one around here? Oh cool. Heartwarming family reunion. Lovely. Okay. Yep, let's push another button. And it looks like we gotta get a family reunion going. Cool, yeah. Push that one. That gives us one more remaining. Another quick rest, and then I'm gonna run out and try and find the other one. So coming out of that last research station, you walk straight in front of you and there's a cave. So I've just gone inside there and it looks like we found something. Oh damn, it looks like there's the research station on the right and maybe the main lab on the left of the screen right now. But this place is huge. Yeah, let's be careful. It is a waterfall, so it's probably slippery and wet. Come on, Alvin, we can do it. Oh, good point. It could be terrestrialize Coming up on the final research station now. Uh, very easy to get to, just stick to the outside wall and you'll be fine. So you see we always start up there, you literally just follow it around. Easy peasy, oh hello. Don't want to run into it, you guys. Can we just get inside this? You sure can. Cool. This one is a little bit different. What went crazy in here? Hello, children. Hello. Why is everything all busted? I'm sorry. 
Okay, something's going on. Restart, yeah, restart. That was really odd. Well, can we push buttons? Um, yes. All locks disabled. Perfect. Yeah, there's some sort of weird thing going on here. Uh-oh, this could be a trick. We might have just let something out that's not the professor. I see the entrance to the lab. There it is in front. I guess we can just cross this river, hopefully. Ooh, that's new. I'm going to catch you. Yeah, I'll catch this. <laughs> and then we'll go and knock on the door. Hello. We are here. We've made it. Finally reached the deepest part of the crater. Oh, phone's ringing. Hiya. Structure you see is zero lab. Cool. Can we go in? Can alter the functions of living things. Oh, cool. Terrestrialize. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate should be open. Cool, let's do it. Be quickly confronted with dangerous... Yeah, we're all good for that. Uh, sounds like a problem if they get free, though. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. Alrighty, let's do it. You got me and Crater. It doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Exactly. We'll be fine. Right. Let's hit some buttons. See what happens. Open the gate. Yeah, let's just do it. Hold it. Oh. Why? Ah, maybe. We should have Koriden. It's really strong. That's true. Bring out his ball. Maybe he'll be able to find his family. Yeah. I, it does make sense. Yes, I agree. Hey, dude. All right. Let's do it. Let's open the gate. Well, that alarm doesn't sound good. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he big. He a big boy indeed. Family reunion's happening. Speaking of family reunion, I want you the cat's back as well. <laughs> Look, come and see this giant Pokemon we're about to battle. Chasing. Crichton really doesn't want to play. Terrified, yeah, exactly. and do it. Let's bow.
Uh oh, here they come. Uh oh, we need to stop them. Stop them, stop, 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 stop. We are surrounded, this is not ideal. Oh yeah, they're definitely all ancient Pokemon. Come on then, Lamona. Let's do it. We can take them. First things first. Let's take on this Tusky boy. I guess. Leaf Storm it. Get wrecked, Tusk. Who next? Okay. Looks like these mushroomy boys want to go. Ah, they're actually kind of cute. Right, let's try and take this thing on. What are you called? A brute bonnet. I'm gonna try a flower trick because it's old faithful. Might not do anything, who knows? Well, at least it affects it. That's not great though. Ooh, Giga Drain. Are you a grass type then? Is that what we're saying? How about we try play rough? That was a lot better. Super effective, in fact. And a dark pulse, which was not great. That's fine though, it did flinch. Awesome. Let's play rough again. See you later, brute bonnet. What else you got? Oh, Coridon's getting angry. Oh, if those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess. Gotta get after them. Uh oh. Alright, Arvin. Let's let them deal with that. Yeah, they'll be fine. Let's go for this strong looking one. Okie dokie. Main, get intimidated. I'm gonna try a flower trick and see how much it does. Oh, mystical fire, that sounds bad. It was bad. <laughs> Not as good as that though, damn. One hit KO, I'll take that for sure. Just had a quick phone call, still going off. Ignore, please, ignore. What is this? Right, sorry about that, let's crack on. Who's next? Guys, I'm so nonchalant about taking on these dudes. Take you and your partner there, go and take care of business. Got it, go on Arvin, you can do it. Go on, my boss dude, all those herbs. You ruined my whole childhood, damn. You've got amazing powers. You can do it. Be brave, exactly. Come on, Coriden, let's go. Let's get in this time machine. Oh, hey there. It's the professor. Human presence detected. She does not look good. Hello? Well, that's creepy. Deactivating sleep mode? What? Oh. She like a robot. And she got a master ball. Cool. 
So your Karadim fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Interesting. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I'm not the tra Then who are you, robot? AI professor? She passed away? Damn. Oh, that's sad. Is this whole time she's been dead? Yeah, you've been an AI the whole time. That is so creepy, dude. I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine. The original Professor Creator. Okay, we can do that. Booster energy. Interesting. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Let's do it. I know this is going to be a bit of a longer episode, but I think we're just going to finish this off in one go. So, what is this time machine? Since Pokeballs to a different point in the timeline to catch Pokemon, then draw them back here. Interesting. So even now it draws them out. Cool. Um, let's just ask all the questions, I guess. The original professor no longer exists here. That's sad. Uh, I don't want to tell Arvin. Can you tell Arvin? And um, what is an AI? We already know that. Come on. These are silly questions. Pretty cool though. Crystals that make up and made it possible here to have such an advanced AI. And what do you really want? So the professor had a dream where we all live alongside, but they stem from a primal energy and it's proved too terrible. There's a barrier that keeps the ancient Pokemon from escaping. Cool. Ah yes, the great tusk got free, of course. So we don't want that. Fair enough. Yes, I have become a formidable trainer. You're damn right. Sure, I will destroy it. Well, here we are. Ooh, it's like a mirror dimension room. Cool. It's kind of messing with my eyes, though. Behold, the time machine. Cool. Oh, I wonder what that is. Got to put like a Game Boy cartridge on there or something. What do I do? To stop the time machine, you use the professor's ID in the Scarlet Book. Ah, oh, I do have that. Place it upon the pedestal, you can stop the time machine. Yeah, we can do that. Easy. What's the issue? You try to stop the machine, it will attack you. Fair enough. I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine. Ah, oh, cool. So we got to battle you, the AI, once we put the book in. Makes sense. Let's do it. I'm ready for this fight. Um, actually, oh, yeah, I am ready for this fight. I just want to check we were fully healed up. Yes. <laughs> ID confirmed. Initiate emergency shutdown. This is it. Access de denied. That's not ideal. Shutdown command overridden. Uh-oh. Activating defense protocol. This is nuts. Please defeat me. Okay, let's do it. At last, 
my dream is within reach. I'm not getting in the way. Oh, snap. All right, AI, stop glitching around. Show me what you're working with. Slitherwing, damn, that looks cool. I think it's gonna be super effective against me because it looks pretty much like the Volcano Rock, Volcano Rod thing, the bug that's also fire type. I can't even remember its name. Uh, let's try a flower trip though, because you know, we're in the neighborhood. We may as well give it a go. Not bad. It's not very effective, but it's not bad. I did notice she's got six uh, Pokemon. I imagine they're all going to be these paradoxing things. Ow! Dude! Just destroy me in one hit. That's not good. Okay. Masquerada. You did fine. I'm going to send out my big gun. Backscalibur, this is it. All you, my friend. You can do it. You've never sh <laughs> done us wrong. <laughs> Icicle crash it. Right, there we go, there's one. Perfect. Come on, Backscalibur, you can do this. I have faith in you. A scream tail. Will you switch? No. But familiar with the scream tails now. That's fine. Um, ice cool crush it again, I guess. Ow! Super effective me. That wasn't great. Okie dokie. Did get a bit of HP left. HP back using leftovers is what I meant to say. Oof! Not enough HP though. Can I crunch you? That was not good. Backscalibur, you are not going to survive this, I don't think. I'm going to actually use this as an opportunity, though, to max revive Nyaskarada. Because I do think that that will have a better chance of beating this Screamtail, at least. I'm actually pretty sad about Backscalibur, though, because he is usually an absolute beast and he got wrecked. Um, yeah, effective, effective, super effective. Ooh, all right, let's do it. Gunk shot away. Yeah, let's do this. Get Shh, gunked. Nice one, Graphite Eye. Do I understand ancient Pokemon weaknesses? I mean, I do that one because I caught one. <laughs> All right, a brute bonnet. Will I switch? Nah. Let's just see what we can do. Brute bonnet. What do you got? Super effective gunk shot. Please don't miss. No, that's bad. Okay, not not the worst. If we can hit it with a gunk shot before we go down, I'll be happy. No, I'm not going to give up. Don't worry about it. Come on, gunk shot. Ah, oh, we got him. Nice. That's another one down. Graphire is coming in clutch. Sandy shocks. I don't know. Let's switch out to Meowskarada though, because it's level 70 and it's got full HP. Alright, not seen one of these yet. Let's see what it looks like. Sandy Shocks. Ooh! Kind of like a Magnemite. Kind of not. You know my favourite move, the Flower Trick. <laughs> one hit KO. See you later. Super effective. That was a pretty cool Pokemon though. What else have we got? A Fluttermane. Yeah, now this I think we can take on. We've battled a couple of these now. I did catch one as well with a quick ball. I know we 
got absolutely wrecked by the uh, fire, the mystical fire, that's it. Uh, that's not too bad. Special attack falls. I'm going to try a leaf storm. Not the best move. Alright, you've got like no special attack now. So <laughs> let's try uh, play rough. Or we could just pass out because mystical fire. Yeah, cool. Alright, what else we got? Um, oh, Tinkerton's got a super effective move. But I think we're just going to try our giraffe friend. Just because I like him more than anything. And we're going to go with a psychic. Thunderbolt? Hell no. That's not cool. Get psychic. And get crunched. Stop thunderbolting me. Yeah. Nice. Alright, she's got one left. Here we go. What is it? Roaring Moon. Uh, sure, let's keep what we've got. No idea what a Roaring Moon is. Oh, it's like a Salamance or something. And the booster energy was used up. What on earth? It's just powered itself up. I know exactly what I want to do now. Let's get Baxcalibur back. This thing I feel is going to absolutely wreck. Yeah. So hello, cat. You come to see us battle. Well, you can't stand on the table because then I won't be able to see and I won't be able to pick attacks, you see. So you just stay out of the way and Baxcalibur is going to try and win us this fight. You missed the rest of it. Um, let's... Try a Dragon Claw. He also used Dragon Claw and took me out in one hit. That's not great. Um, Tinkerton, you're our best hope now. Let's try a Gigaton Hammer. Earthquake. Oh god, this thing is powerful. See ya. is starting to set in. Do we even have a chance to attack? No. Super effective against all of our Pokemon. I don't think we can defeat her. Can we do anything? A little bit of acid in the face. It's over. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a tough opponent and the first few tries were very very difficult but we kept battling and eventually, eventually we managed to grab the win. So let's check out that moment. Come on Meowscarada. Let's go! Ooh, that was our last Pokemon. Thank goodness for Max Revives. Damn, that Roaring Moon was very, very powerful. But we got there. Definitely the hardest boss in the entire game. That is for sure. But we've done it, we defeated her. What does this mean? Hello AI Sada, are you cool now? Hey, it's the gang. Check this out. Oh, this is about to be real sad. Who are you really? The time machine has been stopped. No, it's all good, Arvin. It's not your mum.
Uh oh. Big red thing does not look good. It, it cannot be. Yeah, we, we need to get out of here, I think. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol. Uh oh. Oh, locking all Pokeballs. That's not good. This is too much. You must run. Oh god. I think that's a great idea. Oh lord, why are we still here? You are not getting in my way. Oh dear. Challenged by her again? Oh, the Paradise Protection Protocol. Uh-oh. Things just got real spicy. I've been watching a lot of Master Chef recently and it feels like the bit where, you know, it's getting real, real tense and they cut the music to put in the chopping noise. I can't use my Pokemon. Um, battle. You can't battle without Pokemon. I, I know. What, what am I supposed to do? Um. Ooh. Coriden? Let's do it. This is your time, lad. You can do it. It's our boy. Do you trust me? I think he does. Looks like we're actually going to be able to use him in battle. All those Herba Mystica might pay off here. Alright, what moves does he know? Okay, now we've got a battle on our hands. 1v1, I guess. Hopefully this is not as difficult as Roaring Moon was a minute ago. Turn the sunlight harsh. Sending it into a frenzy. All right, so we got level 68, fair enough. Uh, we got flamethrower collision course. What the heck is that? Oh, pretty, okay, pretty big. Um, endure and a Terror Blast. I guess let's kick things off with a flamethrower. Oh, he fell for the torn. Oh, that was really not effective at all with it. Let's go, Koriden, you got this. Uh, not if we use flamethrower, that's for sure. Um, Let's try this collision course thing. Okay, he's using the I'm alright with that because, yeah, we know that's not great. Okay, that's slightly better. Um, does Terror Blast actually gonna. If the user's terror, terrestrialize, it yeah, unleashes the attack of the terror type. I'm just going to see what happens. I know we haven't done it, but oh, it's bulking up. So it's got Taunt, Bulk Up, Flamethrower. Let's see if this Terror Blast does much. No, it really doesn't. Hang in there, I'm trying. Um, let's do that collision course thing again, I guess. Oh, 
Oh god. That can't be good. <gasps> 1 HP. Bruh. It toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. That's nice of it. You can do this, I know you can. I don't have as much faith as these guys. We're down to 1 HP, man. My attack rose sharply. Uh, dude, do you want like a max potion? Here, take this. Try not to die. I feel like that would be real bad. Can we really not pull off a win here? This does not look good, you're right. My terror orb. Terrestrialize and finish this off, okay. Attack Rose again. Okay, we're getting all the power ups. Feels a bit cheeky, but I'll take it. Um, terrestrialize. Guess it wants us to use this Terra Blast. Let's try it again. Like we're ready for the part. One more time, try this Terra Blast thing. Because now it's going to be Dragon type, right? Much better. Ha, pathetic flamethrower. Show me what we pushed alive. Pushed al alive? Pushed around. <laughs> it's because I were terrestrializing again. <laughs> Alright. Finish it with a Terra Blast. Let's go. Easy. We got there in the end. Yay, slow motion. You defeated the protection protocol. Nice. You did it! Whew. Are you back to normal? Kinda. Yeah, she looks kinda normal. No matter how difficult your own paths have been, we are capable of walking whatever path we choose. Lovely. You're part of the system, that's not fun. When I was watching you, she was jealous. Oh, yeah, you gotta stay here. Oh, you should be so proud. He's back to normal, battle mode. Does that mean we can use him whenever we want now? Do we carry just seven Pokemon around? Okay, so you're off to the ancient world. Have fun. Your mum truly loved you. Lovely. Okay, bye. Farewell, my free adventurers. See you later. Just like that, she was gone. Well, Arvin's pretty upset. Oh, 
Understandably, I guess. Not ideal. Does this mean that you'll be able to fly us out of here now? It is very cool. I'll give it that much. Hey, big win indeed. We saved the world. Yeah, thanks. She's gone forever. But, you know, I'm sure she's having fun without you. Let's go home, people. Well, folks, it looks like this is the end. We finally, finally finished our adventure. And I guess we'll head back to school. I know this has been a bit of a long episode compared to the rest, but I wanted to get all of Area Zero, the ending of the game, in all in one go so that we didn't have to split it up. I hope you guys don't mind too much. And if you have made it all the way to the end, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to just finish this off now. I think we'll just go through a couple of cutscenes, um, make our way back to the school. Like I said, we probably need to have a chat with the director and things like that. And yeah, catch the last few remaining Pokemon. I'll probably do that without you guys. Um, we're up to about 360 in total anyway, so... You see tonight, you can... And there it is. Roll credits. Yeah, thought that would be the case. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing series. I have loved this game so very much. Definitely one of the better ones from recent memory, at least. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it too. Bit of Ed Sheeran to see us off. I'll be back with some more uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda. And we're going to start, now that this series is over, some Stardew Valley. So stay tuned for that. And I shall see you very, very soon. Till then, take care. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.